Welcome gamers for another video in my channel. As many of you may know, I love the 16-bit era. For me, the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis are still today the best consoles ever made. I love the art style in these consoles, and unlike now, at least in my opinion, we had top games every month. Of course, I didn't play all top games in these systems, but I'm going to rank my favorite ones, and if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Ok, let's start with number 10, Mega Man 7. I love Mega Man, it's by far my favorite mascot. I also love Mario, Sonic, Pac-Man, Bomberman, among others, but Mega Man games, especially the first 6 games in the original NES, were great. In my opinion, this game is not as good as previous ones, but Mega Man 2, for example, is in my opinion the best 8-bit game ever made. But I also have fun playing this game. I like the new design of Mega Man, the new weapons, and overall it's a great and fun game, and absolutely deserves a place in this list. Super Metroid. The first Metroid I played was Metroid Fusion, and this possibly my favorite one. Then I played Zero. Prime 1 and 2, and only after playing these ones I start playing Super Metroid. The game played just like it was in the previous games that I played. It focused on exploration. We search for power-ups that are used to unlock some areas to proceed in the game. I love the level design, the weapons and the bosses. And after I finish this game, I can see why. It's for many one of the best games ever made. Super Mario World Super Mario World is often considered one of the greatest video games of all time. And it's also the best selling SNES game. This game is amazing. Personally, from 2D Marios, I prefer Super Mario Bros. 3. But this comes very very close. It's a shame that the new Super Mario Bros. franchise never reached the quality of this game. Of even the original Super Mario Bros. series in the original Nintendo. Don't get me wrong, I love the new Super Mario Bros. franchise. It is very good to have a 2D Mario in every Nintendo console, but I think the series didn't reach yet the level of the old ones. Final Fantasy VI I love Final Fantasy, it's probably my top 5 favorite franchise ever. And this Final Fantasy VI is by far my favorite in the series. I also love 9, 10 and 4, but the 6th installment in the main series is great. The story, the characters, the bosses and especially the music that in my opinion is the best in the series. Final Fantasy VI was a landmark title for the role playing genre. And in 2017 was ranked by IGN the second best RPG of all time, only behind Chrono Trigger. Super Street Fighter 2 There's not much to say about uh, Street Fighter 2. I already talked so many times in this channel. In my opinion, the Street Fighter franchise is the best fighting game franchise ever made. And this part is very well done. In this game, we saw for the first time Kami, DJ, t hawk and Fei Long. The whole characters also have different special moves. Ken, for example, have now a Fire Shoryuken. I made a long play of me playing with Ryu in this version of the game the one that you're seeing right now. I'll let the link in the description if you want to see that long play or just a couple of matches. You win! Perfect! Flashback I first played and finished this game in the Sega Genesis and I love it. I was very very proud when I finished this game. I said it many times, for me this is a 2D Resident Evil. It has action, puzzles to resolve, and contrary to Resident Evil, it also has many platform parts. Probably the reason that I love Resident Evil the first time I played, it was because it reminded me of this game. I love this game so much that I bought the special edition for the Nintendo Switch a couple of years ago.
Yoshi Island. I love this game and this franchise so much. I can't believe the graphics the first time I saw it. I love Yoshi and playing with him in Super Mario World. Many people didn't like this game because Mario cries very loud when he gets hit. But it doesn't bother me. To be honest, I find it funny. Chrono Trigger This one is easily the best RPG ever made. Akira Toriyama made the characters and some of them are the best in any video game. Even, even today, 25 years after this release is much better than any modern RPG. Chrono Trigger was revolutionary, including different endings, side quests, unique battle system and detailed graphics. In 1995, Chrono Trigger was the third best selling game in Japan. Super Turrican As many of you may know from my previous videos, I love the Turrican franchise and I love everything in the game. The level designs, the weapons and especially the music by the master Chris Uzbek. The Turrican franchise is magic. It's really hard to find the right words to describe this franchise. I prefer the Turrican franchise in the Sega Genesis and the Commodore Amiga, but it's also very good to see in the SNES two original games to be added in this wonderful franchise. Link to the Past This is by far for me the best SNES game ever made. I finished this game so many times that I lost count. It's because of games like this that The Legend of Zelda is by far my favorite franchise. Link to the Past was a landmark game for the Nintendo and the Zelda series. And if you also play the Ocarina of Time, you can see that Ocarina have so many things in common with this game. Instead of using the side-scrolling perspective, including in Zelda 2 Adventures of Link, A Link to the Past have a perspective similar to the original Zelda. For me, that was great, and even greater was 22 years later, Nintendo released a true sequel to this game, The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. So how about you gamers, which one is your favorite SNES game? Please let me know in the comments. Hope to see you in the next video.